My beloved brothers and respected sisters, my topic today is very important. It's what all of us need in this dunya. All of us, what we are striving for is good life. When I ask you why you're working two jobs, or why you're working many hours, say, I want a good life for me and my family. Right? That's what we need. And that's why we emigrate from our country, wherever we're born, to this country. Because we're searching for good life. And that's our kids' dream, to have good life. But the problem is, people are searching in the wrong way. People knocking the door, wrong doors. And also, we are being attacked by the sickness of this century, which is sickness of less Iman, don't know where you're going. When you ask the generation what you want from this life, they don't know where they're going, they don't have hope, they don't have sincerity in what they're doing. And when they ask them why, they said to you, I don't have guarantee of good life. Because you are not the source of good life. Because you are not able to provide me with good life. Then we always hear the word good life. Happiness. Because they believe that good life mean happiness, mean money. But they didn't go to the Quran. And the answer in the Quran. This khutbah. And you heard me a lot saying, this khutbah is very important of your life. Your, all my khutbah is very important of your life. But this one is exactly that's what we need, all of us. Good life. Then I search. And I find the answer in Surah Al-Nahr. Ayah number 97. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم, He said, مَنْ عَمَلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ زَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٍ فَلْنَحْيَنَّهُ حَيَاتٌ طَيِّبَةٌ وَلُنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ بَأَحْسَنَ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you the secret and the key of happiness. What is the secret and the key of happiness? This is wa'ad. Wa'ad means promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Nahr that He will make you happy. Ya Allah, then I was blind all these years. Yes. Because what? Because my Quran and your Quran collecting dust at home. It's a decoration. You think it's a barakah when it's in your car. But it's actually, it's going to be a witness on the day of judgment, an evidence witness in your crime that you left them in the car to protect the car. Everybody tell me, how did I get an accident? The Quran is in the car. Supposed to be Quran in the car. The Quran will not be active until you activate it. And how you activate it? That you actually understand, use it, live it. Now, the sickness of the life. Everyone, the majority of people, and I have a beloved brother, I love him so, so much, that he tell me, Brother Sharif, you're always talking about money, and 99% of your crowd searching for money. I said to him, I know that. You remember? I know you. I'm not going to look at you then you don't. But that's true. He said to me, always tell them, you know, money, money, money. But you don't know. 99 of them, they are looking for money. I know, brother. But I tell you something. Take it from me. Yes, money is important. Yes. Sometime, not all the time, want to make you happy. And also sometimes doesn't make you happy because I know. I, I say it and I will say, I know people that they have money more than the whole entire community gather and they don't have happiness. Wallahi, they don't have happiness. They tell me, I wish Allah take all my money and just give me the hudu and calmness that you have. You have jealousy of me not caring. <laughs> it's like, he, you know, if I have what you have, and he said, if I have what you have, Allah Then I summarized 10 
things to make you happy. Let's go to this journey, inshallah. First, what? Ta'atullah. To obedient to Allah. To be obedient to Allah is the first recipe. The first ingredient. Let's talk about it. We have a lot of restaurant people here. <laughs> the first recipe, the ingredient in your recipe to be happy, to be obedient to Allah. Number one. Second. Astiqabillah. After you be obedient, you have to confirm that you are trusting Allah. Sometimes you're obedient, but you don't trust Him. You trust me, you trust the business, you trust your bank account. Right? You know, somebody, you know when we bought this masjid, huh, we had $30,000. And they asked him for 650 I said, we're going to buy it. Then they tell me, it's, we only have 30000 and they're asking for 650 Trust Allah. Who win? We trust Allah, we get the money, put it cash, we get the masjid. Trust Allah. Second ingredient. Ta'atullah first. Trust Allah second. Third, at-tawakkul ala Allah. To be mutawakkil ala Allah. At-tawakkul ala Allah in English, in, in English to be, to be faithful to Allah and trust in Allah. All this combined, right? But not mutawakkil. There is different in the language. Tawakkul, different than mutawakkil. Some people sitting at home, and he's mutawakkil ala Allah. He said, you know what? Allah will give me risk. Allah will provide me. You know? And you know the story of the person who's sitting in the masjid. And Rasulullah asked him, you know, he's making tasbih and he's making zikr and he's making this and making ibadah. And Allah, the Prophet Muhammad said to him, who's spending money? Who's paying the bills? Who's doing this? He said, my brother is working and I'm making ibadah. He said to him, your brother is better than you. You understand? Let's get to this hadith that will rock your life. And I said in the first khutbah, all of us when we leave the house, either we're searching for car key, or we're searching for our glasses, or cussing. It's Monday, it's traffic. Come on, you make me late, you know. We are cussing, we are searching for the key, we're searching for the glasses, you know, and then your glasses in your face, right? Or the key in the car. But you are already doomed before you start, even start a day. And you're fighting and you're actually accusing everybody that's going to make you late, you know. Let's go back to 1400 years ago. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Sallu al Habib Mustafa. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in the hadith sahih, in the Tirmizi, he said, whoever leave his house, huh? this is the ingredient of tawakkul ala Allah, whoever leave his house, in the morning. And he said, Bismillah. Tawakkaltu ala Allah. Wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah. The Rasulullah sallallahu said, Yuqalu lahu, being replied to him, Kafaka Allah. Wara'aka Allah. Wahafazaka Allah. Allah will protect you. And enough for you, Allah. Allah will take care of you today. Allah will prevent you from any harm today. The car will not be broken. You will not be out of in the traffic or you're going to have an accident. Nothing will happen to you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will prevent you from the shaitan that day. Ya Allah. That's it. Yes. Did you see? All your life, 29, 30, whatever your age is, you are going out of the house and you have tawakkul on yourself. You're depending on your strengths. You're depending on your car. You're depending on traffic. Ah, oh, I did my homework, Sheikh. I know the 95 is clear. I know that my car is full of gas. I filled up the tank yesterday. I have a good car. The engine is good. I warm it up. I did everything. Ya Allah. This is tawakkul on Allah. No. You depend on all the material you have, right? But you didn't depend on Allah first. I'm not saying don't do all this stuff. This all this stuff is good. Because you know the traffic, it's all good. We need the smart believers. You, know, you don't want to be like me, not uh, high tech. Right? We don't, the, both of them goes together. Do your homework, and then when you leave the house, Bismillah, 
توكلت على الله ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. Then come and see me next time إن شاء الله. أقول قول هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه النار غفور رحيم. الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على المصطفى المبعوث رحمة للعالمين. First, طاعة, obedient. Second, ها. ثقة, trust Allah. Third, توكل على الله. Fourth, let's go to the four. What's the four? الرضا بقضاء الله. To accept what Allah wrote for you. I've been trying to be, have my own business for 20 years and I failed. Then, accept what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give. I've been trying to have a children for 20 years. Accept what Allah. خلاص. I'm ready with what Allah meant. Right? Now, also there is a lot of things can combine together to give you happiness. Which is health. Saha. Right? You know, you have all the money but you don't have health. Right? But saha by itself is not enough. That's why we combine them together. Saha wa afia. That's why when you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala health, and then also we have energy because some most of us have health. We don't complain about sickness, but we don't have the energy. Let's do this, I don't have the energy. Let's go out, I don't have the power. I don't have this, I don't have. Then when you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we said, when you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be a smart, ask as wal afiyah. Ask both combined together. It's a combination. And then other thing is al hudu comfort, calm, you know, tranquility. Al hudu Where this comes from? The houses and the families and the kids have no peace of mind anymore. No house have the comfort that we're talking about, peace, comfort, and all this stuff. Why? Because we are not going to Rasulullah and getting the reason behind comfort. Rasulullah said, Ala bi dhikri tatma'innu al The comfort you by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second, ha, when Rasulullah called Bilal and said to him, ha, arihna biha ya Bilal, comfort us ya Bilal. By calling the azan, by calling the salah, this is where comfort is. Now the last thing is, al-barakah. If the barakah goes to the complete of the, you know, ingredients, you're gonna have the best taste of your life. The cook of life, it will be perfect. Baraka, where it comes from. Rizq halal. Now let's go to sukun al biyut. To have a comfort and healthy and health and wealth, you have to have a house. Our houses is broken. And our house is have a crack. Right and left. Not because we need to remodel. We need to do the remodeling, not the physical remodeling. We need to do the, 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 the roots of the houses. The houses have no roots. You know that, you know, when you have to dig to build the tower, you have to, you know, you know we learn from our mashayikh that every mountain you see, exactly the same distance in the top, it's in the ground. To hold this mountain. Then if you want to have good life, and good family and a good house with comfort, the roots have to be strong. And the root comes from Islam. And the last thing is farha, happiness of good deeds. The good deed, ya ikhwan. Now, indeed, we have challenge in this dunya. We have calamity. We have tests. Life is not an easy journey. Bills, sickness, all these issues. Now we come to Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 216. وَعَسَىٰ أَن تَكْرَهُوا شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَعَسَىٰ أَن تُحِبُّوا شَيْئًا وَهُوَ You think that the best thing for you is to get this job, or to get this woman, or to get this house, but then you don't get it. Then you say this, might be bad for me and my family and my dunya and my religion and my that's iman that's iman Allah tawakkul ala Allah now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also give us reason to be happy 
ألا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب. You have to be remembering of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, how to be happy in this dunya and how to be good? The life is good. You have to have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your chest. As Musa alayhi salam, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbi, ishrah li sadri. That's the dua of Musa. Rabbi, ishrah li sadri. Oh Allah, comfort my heart and comfort my chest. Open my heart for comfort by you, ya Allah. That's Musa requested from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you come to Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, Alam nashrah laka sadra. And this ayah, and this surah, whoever say it, if he have a calamity, if he have a mountain in his heart, if he have a mountain in his shoulder, if he recite this ayah, surah by remembering Allah, and yasdiq fi Allah, and trusting Allah, O oh Allah, you will have peace of mind. The minute that you have an issue in this dunya, Say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Alam Nashrah Laka Sadra. And then you recite the whole surah. Ya Allah, you find yourself, what is this? This is true. Yes, ya akhi, this is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last thing, ya ikhwan, Al-Ihsanu ila nas To be good to the others. This is the selfishness that we have right now. Nafsi, nafsi. This is when we get closer to the day of judgment. Everybody say, myself, myself. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly said, Inna Allah ya'mur bil'ad wal-ihsan wa ita'iz al-qurba wa yanha anil fahshai wal-munkar wal-baghi. Ya'izukum la'allakum tazakkarum. This is Surah Al-Nahla also. Last but not least. Number 10. And this is the seal of the deal of the ingredient of happiness. And this is a lot of people have it, ya ikhwan. A lot of people ruin the whole ingredient, ruin the whole entire recipe, and that's why their life tastes bitter. Oh my God, this is a TV show. It's like I'm making a cooking and doing that. I love that. This came with this khutbah. I love it. Subhanallah. And remember, Rasulullah sallam, you get a lot of beautiful. The recipe, you ruin it. By the last ingredient, hasad wa Jealousy and anger. When your heart has so much jealous to your brother and you're looking in what his hand and you're not looking in your hand. When you're looking in the other house and you're not looking in your house. This is where the whole ingredient and whole recipe goes south. Why? You're not happy anymore. Even if your kids or yourself or your wife remind you, look at what we have. Ah, I don't care. Look at what he have. Do you know this? A conversation. You were part of it. I, I'm telling you, you were part of it. All of us were part of it. When somebody reminds you, you know, you have eight kids. I know about this kid. This, this brother have a kid better than my kid. You have, you have eight kids? No, I, I want this kid. <laughs> You have a job, you have a car, but look at his car. But you drive it. No, but I want his car. You have a house, I want his house. You have a business, I want his business. La ilaha illallah. This is where your life will be miserable, and this is where you will never get a good life. You have to have please with what you have. And strive to have better, but from Allah, not from people. نسأل الله السعادة للجميع. We ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى happiness for all of us. We ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to educate us in Islam. Yes, we strive, Ya Allah, but you give us the ingredient, but we ignore it because we are forgetting. Because our father, Abuna Adam, he forget. That's why we're forgetting.